Hi there. Hi. Hi, what's your name? My name is Erol. Erol, where are you from? I'm from Turkey.、Uh, I live in Istanbul. Mm, tamam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super. <laughs> Super. Yeah.、Uh, how are you? I'm doing so well, thank you. I'm Miss Comedy and I am from Canada. Great.、Uh, nice to meet you, Miss Comedy. <laughs> It's nice to meet、yeah. you. So, e r o l would you like a lesson today or a conversation? Yes,、um, I especially want to、uh, improve my uh, English uh, skills about business, especially business. Okay.、Uh, but、uh, I don't think、uh, that I'm good at、uh, conversation, uh, about conversation. So、uh, we, can, we can study. On、uh, bo- both on、uh, conversational or business English. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Perfect. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So,、uh, what industry what industry are you in, Errol? Yeah.、Uh, I am、uh, working in、uh, IT department, IT industry. Yes.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you often speak to people in English at work or in Turkish? Uh, unfortunately, I don't、uh, speak English with my office,、uh, with my uh, team uh, friend. Uh, but uh, I think uh, English in a business life、uh, is very important, you know.、Uh, mm, maybe yeah. uh, ma- maybe uh, in, future, in the future,、uh, I'll. I can work uh, another uh, company or、uh, especially international or global companies. Yes,、um, yes, of course. Yes,、uh, English is uh, important uh, for my personal development and uh, especially uh, business, uh, business life, for my business life. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, of course. It's interesting you mentioned that, Errol, because I was just reading in a book about、yes. why English is important. So, would you,、uh, would you mind reading to me in the chat what this little piece of this book says? Yes. This is why well, English is important in business.、Mm-hmm. Yes, so thank you.、Mm-hmm. Yes.、Uh, shall I read this now? Or? Yes, please read it、yeah. to me. Thank、mm-hmm. you. Thank you. When applying for jobs, good English language skills can make all the difference.、Uh, knowing the rules will help a candidate write a perfect application and、uh, speak clearly and confidently in,、uh, in, in an interview. interview. All employers, regardless of the industry,、uh, look for candidates who can express、uh, themselves correctly and、uh, as Uh, assertively, assertively, because these skills are、uh, valuable in、uh, most jobs every day.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. You did such a great job. So, it's j- exactly what you said. When you're applying for a job, having good English skills makes you a better candidate. That means、yes. that you are, you are what people would want because, and I, I was like, why is that? And the reason is, if you go further in the book, it says English、uh, is the main language used in the business world, which I didn't know that. I just know because I speak English, that's one of my languages I speak. I thought, oh, everybody, you know, they just talk English. But it actually is a fact. Fluency in the language makes it easier to travel to English speaking places for work or vacation. Yes. So that's another reason to learn business English is because you can connect with so many people and、yeah. you can make so many better connections.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are right. You are sort of. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, the most important thing when you're learning English is to have a purpose. Why do you want to learn English? And your why is very good. You said you want to learn to connect with others and to build better business connections. 
And、um, so English is is never the goal. It's never the goal. English is the car that drives you to your goal. English is the car that will drive. Yes. You to goal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I got I got it.、Mm-hmm. So we can work on some business words today. If you、uh, had a glossary of terms in Turkish that you you know, and those are things that are very important in business, if you put those in the chat, we can translate them into English equivalents, and I can help you to learn some English words if you would like. Yeah, yeah.、Uh, it、uh, it's it seems so good、uh, to study、uh, business English words.、Mm-hmm. And we will make it fun. It won't be boring. Okay, <laughs> it won't、yeah. be boring. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It will be fun. Yes.、Mm-hmm. Yes. So,、uh, do you have a list of words in Turkish for your job or for IT? Some words that are in Turkish specifically, or are most in English already? Turkish、uh, phrases, Turkish words.、Mm-hmm. Yes, Turkish phrases you would like to say in English. Ah,、mm-hmm. huh. oh.、Uh, for first of all,、uh, I cannot know. <laughs>、uh, <laughs> yes,、um, I'm not. I'm not sure about that.、Uh, yes,、uh, maybe. Maybe、uh, I thought that、uh, we can uh, do, we can uh, study on, uh, especially uh, maybe business idioms or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I saw this. uh, Yeah, maybe business idioms or uh, business phrases or uh, office uh, office meeting words, uh, or maybe later we uh, we can some. Interview practices.、Uh, of course, yes.、Mm-hmm. Yes, let's do that. So I will pull up right now. I will、yeah. pull up some business idioms. Okay, some phrases in business people use often in English, and I will、uh, I will send this to you, and you just open it and you start reading it to me. Okay. 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 This is okay.、And、if you have any trouble, it's okay. I am not scary. I am okay. <laughs> you can say if you don't do something. I won't get mad. Okay. Yeah, I'm opening the link now.、Uh, European language jobs. Twenty different business English idioms. So just scroll down、language. until you see the number one. It will say number one, and it will say a long shot. Yes. Okay, that's the a long、phrase. shot.、Mm-hmm. Yeah.、Uh, this phrase、uh, comes for comes from sports. Like basketball, for example, when a player is trying to shoot from a long distance, it means、mm-hmm. something like、uh, unlikely to happen, with a very little chance of success.、Mm-hmm. Yeah,、um, a long shot.、Uh, example:、uh, getting a senior position in the corporation one day is a long shot, but if you don't try, you will、uh, you will never find out if it's post- possible. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Very good. Does that、uh, does that idiom make sense now? Yes,、uh, a long shot.、Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this.、Uh, so I'll, I'll give you an example. Okay.、Uh, okay. Let's say you have a big, big、uh, job you have to do. Okay. And they、yeah. say if you do this job in one day, then you will be promoted to the president of the company. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, the program would take you six months to do, but they say if you do it in one day, you can be the president. So they give yes, you almost—it's、yes. almost like an impossible thing. So you would say doing a six-month—I'll type this for you. Doing a six-month project in one day is impossible. Okay, you could say that's impossible, but if they said. Do a six-month project in five months. Okay. If they said you just do it in one less month, they say six-month project. Do it in five, and、yeah. you'll get the promotion. You can say, "Ah,、oh, this promotion is a long shot."、Yeah. Okay. 
it, it's stretching you. You have to, <laughs> you're yeah. playing basketball and you're like, and you're like oh, did I get it? <laughs> and you see it. Yeah, I, 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 guess, uh, I guess it's clear. It's more clear now. Yes. Mm -hmm. So thank yeah. you. Of course. Yes. Let's read the next one and we'll see. And it's okay if they don't make sense. If you can tell me, you can tell me the truth. Yes, okay. <laughs> thank you. Uh, second phrase uh, is back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. Uh, this expression means uh, to start something again from the beginning uh, because it's not working as you would have liked or expected. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This uh, this project is not going as planned. Let's get back to the drawing board and fix what's going wrong, going wrong. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Uh, I think uh, I see uh, this phrase. Yeah, this phrase is easy to understand for me. Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. This phrase originates from architects, people who design buildings. Back in 1920, uh, they were designing very big buildings. And yeah. they had men that were lined up in these offices and they would have about 20 or so men who would just draw these buildings, right? And they would draft yeah. these plans. And uh, they'd have all of these plans stacked up and they'd have to move the pages and draw mm -hmm. move the pages. Sometimes they would make mistakes. So if the boss, the editor, the head architect, he looks through the plans and he says, this is garbage. Mm -hmm. He says, this makes no sense. Mm -hmm. You can't have a window there and a door there. That makes That's not an engineer thing. No, no. He says, mm -hmm. back to the drawing board. And what he used to do is he used to take the paper and throw them. So yeah. Back to the drawing board. He'd say, go back to the drawing board and fix it. Okay, yeah. or go back and come up with something different. So yeah. that's where that originates from, from the 1920s. And we still use that phrase today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I got I got this. Back to the drawing board. Uh, I think this, uh, this means uh, like... Um, Re, re, uh, again, uh, think again, think again, think again about the plan, or yes, you think uh, about yeah. it differently, right? You yeah. think of it again. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, we have two minutes, so let's work on one more, and okay. then we, uh, we can meet again, and we can work on different idioms if you want, or technical words, whatever will help you best. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So let's skip. Let's move down to number four. Hands are tied. Okay, hands are tied. When you are unable to carry out any meaningful action because of uh, regulations, rules or other people with authority. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I wish I could help you uh, cut through uh, through all this red tape and other business idiom meaning administrator procedures procedures. Mm -hmm. But my hands are tied. My boss won't let me. Oh yeah, I. Yeah, I got uh, hands are tied. Uh, I have not. Uh, I have not to do anything. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I can't do anything about it. My hands are tied. I can't yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I can't do it, and my hands are tied. Yeah. Yeah. I see. This, this is okay. This is okay for me. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. And red tape would be anything of procedure administration yes. you have to fill out a form and you give it to them and they fill out a form and they give it and that's all the red tape it's very annoying it's not really crucial but mm. it is a procedure right it's an expectation it is a formality is what we would call it and yes. you can see by my face i don't like red tape <laughs> i just want to <laughs> yeah. i'm like don't tell me what to do no <laughs> yes okay okay i i got this yeah thank you thank mm -hmm. you again yeah. Let's uh let's move on to number uh hmm, number five up in the air. Okay, when things are highly uncertain, when a decision has not been met yet, made yet. Yes. Hmm? You know, we were hoping to sign the contract by the end of the month, but there are still too many things up in the air we need to de deal with first. Yeah. Hmm. They don't have certainty. They say, oh, it's up in the air. We don't know. That's one yeah. of my least favorite things to hear. Yeah. I'm like, what do you mean it's up in the air? What do you mean? Like, what is it going on? Yes, okay, okay. I got this. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, um, Errol, we only have about 10 seconds left, but what was your favorite thing we talked about today? 
Yes, uh, I think these words are useful for me. Uh, so thank you for uh, your support and uh, mm -hmm. meeting. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye -bye.